Let's learn how to make a spooky, creepy ghost effect in Premiere Pro. First thing to mention is for this effect, the type of footage matters. Filming at night isn't a must, but it does look cool. What you do need though is footage that is completely still. Any amount of sway will make it look off, so it's best to record on a tripod or at the very least, have your camera person be totally motionless and then stabilize the footage in post. We've actually got another video on how to do that if you're curious. You also don't want too much movement in the shot either, so if you're outside, filming on windy days where there's lots of trees in the wind or anything like that, or filming where there's lots of activity, may not work out. Anyway, to start, drop your footage into your working area and then set your time indicator to a point where there's no one on screen. Hit this button here to export a frame from your footage. Feel free to rename it if you'd like and then hit OK and that's going to pop up in your project files. Drag your footage up a track and then drop that frame underneath it. Drag it out so it's the same length as your footage and then click on your footage again and go to the effects panel. Drag down the opacity to somewhere between 50 and 70. It's going to vary depending on what you're working with. Now this is looking pretty great, but if we want to add another level of creepy, let's make our ghost fade in and out. To do that, we just need to add some keyframes. I think it'll look good if he fades out right around the time he gets to this tree, and then fade back in when he gets close to the camera. To do that, I'm just going to make a keyframe right before he gets to the tree, move forward a few frames, and then drag it to zero. Then I've already pre-marked where he gets close, so I'm going to make another keyframe. Move forward again, and then end it with dragging the opacity up to about 60%. Now we're done. Now with a few sound effects, we've got a cool spooky clip. That's how you make an easy ghost effect in Premiere Pro. Okay, uh, here's the ad. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects in Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.